All right, boys, welcome to our video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to build an S-shaped sugarcane farm design, which is very good after the garden nerf, which reduced the building height limit from 50 blocks to 10. Also, this design is infinite. If you stack two layers on top of one plot, that is going to be more than enough for an infinite farm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get to the farm building. All right, so now that we've cleaned up an entire plot, we're going to start building the actual farm. We're going to start from this edge right here. This is the bottom left edge of the plot. And we're going to start by doing a whole row of dirt. Alright, so after you've done one row of dirt on the plot, you're gonna use your builder's wand to make this all, go all the way to the end of the plot. Alright, so now that you filled up the whole plot with dirt, we're gonna skip one row at the start and look at this one. We're gonna use our builder's ruler to remove the dirt over here by shift and right clicking. And we're gonna go all the way to the edge where we're gonna place a dirt block over here in the corner. Then count two rows. So these you wanna leave empty. And now I'm gonna leave two blocks of space over here and then just builder's ruler this. Yeah, and that is exactly how you do it. We're gonna go to the edge. This is gonna be our starting edge. So we want both rows of water to be at the exact same level. So just leave them like this. And now we're gonna go on the other side. So on the other side, we're just gonna count two more rows, one, two, and then we're gonna use our builder's ruler to remove the blocks. And this is exactly the U shape that we wanna do. It's more of an S shape, it depends how you look at it, but you just want to do this and you're gonna do it on every each side. So now that we've gone to the other side, we're just gonna put two blocks over here. We want this block as the edge and then one block for space. And now we're gonna builder's ruler this after we count two rows of space. So now that you know how to do the shape, I'm gonna do it for the entire plot. All right, so if you wanna do the placing quick of the blocks that you need to go in between, I suggest that you just do one row first. So you wanna look for the rows where you have one block of space and just right click on these, break the block over here, go to the next one. You wanna skip the ones that don't have any blocks of room cause you're gonna be doing them on the other side. So just break the block over here and repeat the process. Go over here, break that. So we do this again. There we go, break this block, do this, break it. And then now we've done this on that side and now we're gonna go over here and do this again. We're gonna do our ruler, break, just keep repeating this until you reach the end. All right, so after you've done all the block placing, all the water and all the rows, this should be the final design. All right, so for the teleport pads, you're gonna do this L shape, which is three blocks over here and one block over here. You're gonna make this three blocks tall. And for the teleport pad, you're just gonna place it down here. But first things first, you wanna place this iron trap door on the second block in the middle. And then you're gonna place the teleport pad. For this teleport pad, I just named it the first cane start. And now if you go to the end, of the farm which is the last row in the corner over here this is the teleport pad which is named first cane end and it goes to first cane start so if you're just farming your sugar cane over here you're just farming and you get teleported right here and you keep farming so this is how you do the teleport pads and the only thing that's left now is to plant the sugar cane which i'll be doing off camera because it's boring and i don't have a basket of seeds yet so i'll just be doing it by hand so after you finished planting the whole farm it should start growing like this I only planted one small section because I don't have a basket of seeds. You know, planting sugarcane is very painful without a basket of seeds. So I just planted this small section to prove that the farm is working. Let me just use my soup real quick. All right, so you're, you're basically gonna go at high speeds, right? And you'll collect the sugarcane. And after you reach the end over here, you're just gonna go like this. And this is how you farm the sugarcane. All right, so this is basically the design that you can do on uh, both of your layers. You can fit two layers per plot and it should be infinite. And if two layers aren't enough because you're going too fast or something, you can just paste this design on another plot and connect the teleport pads between each other and it will still work. You, you can only fit two layers on one plot because you're gonna have four blocks of room over here. Like you count the first block at the bottom and then three more blocks for the sugarcane because sugarcane grows at three blocks high. So you're just gonna leave, leave one more block for headroom and then you're gonna have four more blocks over here on top and one block at the bottom. All right, thank you very much for watching.
if you're interested in more farm designs that are, are meant to work with the new garden nerf i have made plenty of videos covering every type of crop farm you should watch these over here again thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day